Hey, you kids want to see a green tree frog? <laughs> this be oh, and you can tell it's a green tree frog from the scales. Take a look at this. You see how there's scales on its tail right there? Take a look. Oh, he's turning around towards me. Okay. Oh, I'm going to give you all of his credit card numbers and those three wacky digits on the back. We are going to be catching and cooking manatees and sawfish. What's up, all you epic Minecraft, Imposter, Amoga, Sussy, Fortnite, RuneScape, James, Charles, Simpsters, Goofsters, Gapsters, and JoJo Siwa DaBaby enthusiasts? Man, oh man, do I have a fun video for you guys today. Here with my son, name of Kevin. He's very handsome. Beautiful little man. He's And he's handsome. Look at those. Look at his, Look at him move his little, his little beak. Oh, little bit me. You know what, Kevin? Kevin, for that, I'm leaving. That's right, I'm not providing for you anymore. You guys are getting two scoops of this. Oops, sorry, I'll, I'll put it on your back. Maybe you should move out of the way when I'm feeding you next time. Karen and Kyle know what to do, as you can see. Kevin, how about you don't stand in the food, son? That's right, though, you guys. I'm sick of Texas. It's been too dang cold and windy and rainy here. I didn't have enough people to help me finish the shelter in the back, but that's okay because we don't need to do it anytime soon. The pig homeless shelter is, is working, but it kind of fell apart in the back there. Let's all go ahead and blame Tank in the comments for that, you guys. The chickens have these adorable little homes where they lay their eggs, so every morning I go and collect them, but I'm sick of it. You know what? I'm sick of it. I'm sick of all this ballyhoo. I'm going to Florida right now so I can go fishing with Zach Ketchum and Chandler's Wildlife. Sick of getting bit by Kevin every other minute. I'm sick of my daughter Poppy taking my grandkids and running off with him to who knows where in the woods sick of my adorable little livestock guardian dogs being so dang cute i'm sick of this i'm so sick of it look at this i hate it i'm sick of it i'm sick of this beautiful thick man over here being so dang beautiful and thick yeah guys i'm so sick of it that i think i'm gonna go out of florida right now but that's right, guys. I'm going on a little church retreat, a little vacation. I'm going to collab with some uh, YouTubers in Florida, some beautiful boys that some of you may recognize. It's going to be an epic Fortnite pogger sus moment, but I'm going to go ahead and get there right now. What's up, guys? It's me, Vacation Ben, in rare form. I am very sunburnt, and I haven't slept much. This is a dog, name of Bing Bong. I own it now. Uh, sit. See? She obeys. Through adverse possession, I've claimed this property. It was Chandler's. Now it's mine. That's my new building. Uh, there's lots of venomous snakes in there that I don't have a permit to own. There's also all kinds of little crocodilians over here. I, I don't have a permit for those either, but who cares? Yeah, I've got telephone poles. Ever heard of them? This dog is like a mix of queen and poggers. But yeah, guys, the wind was bad, but this is my yard and my dog. And now that this is my pond, first rule of business, is Uncle Ben is allowed to catch all the Paku in here and eat them. Even though that's the one thing Chandler specifically asked me not to do. <laughs> Last night, I went ahead and put Chandler's body at the bottom of this pond. And I'm going to be able to eat all these Paku here. Look at those little adorable babies. And now that this property is mine, I can legally just take these little wild lizards and let them eat my little beep boop boop beep boop beep boop. If you catch him, he's just like, all right, I suppose I belong to this large creature now. Get off my feet, boy. But that's it though, guys. This is my house. These are all my things. This is where I live now. I, I own this house. Chandler's dead. He's at the bottom of that lake out there. And then this is me with my first alligator that I ever caught. That's my pool. It's whatever, whatever. I don't care about it. This is my office. Little severed hand there. No big deal, whatever. Hop up, Bagoy. Come on. Whoa, is that hit rapper and artist, Bagoy? Hit rapper of the century and artist, Bagoy? Oh, look at this little Let's see if your bites are better or worse than Kevin's. Poke. Significantly better. Oh, is that hit rapper and artist? Oh. <laughs> sure hope all those Paku finished eating Chandler's body. Bagoy, up, 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 up. Bagoy. <laughs> oh, guys, now that Chandler's dead, this is my property now. Even his dog turned against him. That's it, though, guys. I tell you to subscribe to Chandler's channel, but he's dead. Thanks so much for watching my video. I love you. appreciate you. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. These animals cured my depression. <laughs> Stay passionate about what you love. That's all that matters in the end. Kissing this owl cured my depression. <laughs> yeah, go ahead up there. All right, Chandler, so this is your little saltwater crocodile, right? The largest reptile on the planet. Largest reptile on the planet and your favorite animal. Yeah, dude, tattooed on my skin. Tattooed, these animals. beautiful. And Chandler's goal with all of this is to eventually develop on this 11-acre property and create separate enclosures for all of these different little babies that he got whenever they were just the size of little nubbins. How big was that one whenever you got him? Dude, like six inches long, little baby, two weeks old. 
And he's got just about every member of the crocodilian family here. But his goal is to eventually open up everything here and then develop it. And that would enable him to breed endangered species and educate the public and focus on conservation. And this is just the first of multiple ponds that he's going to end up putting in here. There's actually 10 or 11 acres that go through the woods. They're going to clear out a lot of the invasive brush and put in new ponds and creeks. And all of this stuff comes up from an aquifer underground. And though he's had a ton of pushback from his neighbors and the surrounding community, he's completely fully permitted, doing everything everything by the book and really focused on conservation. But I just wanted to show you guys, this is what the biome of what he's working with on this property. This is what it looks like here in Florida. There's probably a little armadillo hole or something there. If you're looking for land for homesteading or doing any kind of conservation or anything, it's amazing to have a creek just running through your property. And all of this is natural and spring fed. He can redirect this and reorient this wherever he wants on the property so that these gators have natural, fresh, clean water no matter what. And a lot of places that do this kind of stuff don't have fresh, clean water. That's the one thing that differentiates Chandler from a lot of other places is that they just keep their gators and crocs and everything else in this nasty, green, algae-filled pool. But look how beautiful this is, you guys. This is just gonna be going everywhere throughout the entire property. But I'm really, really excited to watch Chandler grow because as he grows, all of the little animals are gonna be growing with him. All of those little baby gators and crocodiles and different things are gonna grow. And then as he develops this land and clears things out and creates enclosures and ponds and little areas for them this is all just going to look amazing legally he has to do what i did and get a really good strong eight foot fence surrounding the entire perimeter but once he does that it's going to open so many doors and once all of this land is finally developed he's going to be able to use it to start doing what steve Irwin did which is conservation and endangered animal breeding but this is all very exciting and we wish him the best and the craziest thing is that he started all of this in a garage and there's still so much more that he has to do here this here's a shelter i found owned by a man named Paul Kafringus, I believe. Very nice fellow. Show me how to make it. Is this cemented in? No. No? You could if you want, but there's no point because it's so heavy. How far in is it? Uh, about a foot and a half, two feet. It's four by four is all four corners. Two by four is to make the skeleton of the building. Mm -hmm. And then we use this to make it look nice. And you throw these on top of that. Beautiful. So what the heck kind of a rinky-dink car is this? What the heck kind of a rinky dink dink -a link car is the tiny little dink -a link rinky dink -a link Don't mind if I do. What is up, you guys? It's me, Uncle Farmer Dad Ben. Today, we are at Paul Cafaro's house. Uh, this is my friend Brenton, fanatic, and we are going to be catching and cooking manatees and sawfish. Now, we're new to Florida, but he said that this is going to be legal, so we're going to go ahead and do it. Also, here's Paul's wallet. I found it in Brenton's car, and I'm just going to be keeping this. That's right, you guys. Paul Cafaro. This is his wallet. I'm going to give you all of his credit card numbers, and those three wacky digits on the back is paying us to hunt and kill manatees for money. What is up, Fortnite gamers? We're out here. Uh, we got the little car here, tiny car. Uh, and we're looking for animals. Look at that little baby. I think that guy Chandler from Chandler's Wildlife told me about these friendly little beans, uh, name of frog, what you call a green tree frog. Hey, you kids want to see a green tree frog? <laughs> but yeah, guys, take a look at this. Wow. And you can tell it's a green tree frog from the scales. Take a look at this. You see how there's scales on its tail right there? Take a look. Oh, he's turning around towards me. Okay. Holy. Okay. All right, maybe. Maybe we're not gonna take a look at its scale. <laughs> well, I suppose we'll leave this green tree frog alone, but look at that though, guys. A nice little green tree frog. Guys, I think this is what uh, Chandler from yesterday called the green tree frog. They're beautiful, beautiful animals. They've got this nice little scaling on their back. Look at that nice little face. This is my uh, da baby pants. This is my adorable little foot. That's it right next to the face of that little green tree frog. Oh, okay, he's backing up a little bit. Okay, all right, maybe we're not gonna put our foot right next to that. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, we're, maybe we're not gonna put our foot right next to that little green tree frog handsome little man let's go in there okay i pull up hop out at the after part well how about we get a little look at you sir how's about we get a little peek at you <laughs> if only david oren was here he could tell me if that's a poisonous thing or not jump down there and take a look at it we're gonna jump down we're gonna we're gonna do a little Ooh! that is 100 percent a poison okay. boy. David, how's about you come out here and tell me what this snake is? I'm pretty sure it's a poisonous little baby boy. A poison boy, if you will. This was indeed a baby water moccasin. Very handsome, very cute, very deadly. Either way though, bro, first snake of the night. First snake. I don't know what it is, so I'm not picking it up. That's my rule, and that should be yours too. There's a little lizard. 
Look at that little man. Look at this little baby boy. Okie doke. So right now we're driving on this road here when we're checking out this culvert. Little adorable baby boy right there. Probably about five, six feet long. Not nearly as big as that other adorable baby boy. He was much bigger. But let's go ahead and see what's in this culvert. Oh, he's looking this way now. It's a little nerve wracking. Let's see what's in here. We're looking for Burmese pythons. Look at all those birds in that tree. Hey, it's 3.35 in the morning and I think, I think we found a little baby. Oh, never mind. He doesn't look like a baby to me. Well, it's 4 a.m. now, but look at this beautiful man sleeping under these stars. Might just have to eat him. Oh, here I am back in Waco. I made it back before sundown. I told you guys it wasn't gonna, it was just gonna be a quick day trip. Just a quick little day trip to Florida, back in the city of Waco, Texas now. As you can hear from the sirens. Sorry guys, if you're planning to rob my house, I'm already back. <laughs> But I do have a lot of Florida footage to show you guys, and that is just the very beginning. So stay tuned. We got more footage with Chandler. We got a little bit more footage of Paul, I think. So go check out those guys. We love them. We appreciate them. Thanks for, uh, tell them thanks for letting Uncle Ben stay at your house. You guys go over to the channels and say, hey, Paul and Chandler, thank you guys for letting Ben destroy your toilets. That's it, though, guys. Love you. Appreciate you. And we'll see you in the next video. Oh, almost forgot to tell you.